Hello guys, this is What About Nintendo. Today I'm here for another video, and this video I'm going to be talking about five things I want to see in the new Mario movie. You got a lot of things to go over, so let's get right on into it. So guys, before we get into it, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more Nintendo themed content Monday through Friday, ring that bell icon for notifications so you don't miss my uploads, and let me know down in the comments below what you want to see in the Mario movie. But let's get right on into it. So there's been a lot of talk recently about different video game movies, whether that's Detective Pikachu, or the Monster Hunter movie, or as I'm going to be talking in this video, the Mario movie. So I thought it'd be right to make a list of five things that I want to see in the Mario movie. Five things that I think are pretty important in order to have the Mario movie be a success, be something that I actually want to go to the theaters and see. So let's get right on into it. Number one. It needs many and varied environments. Something that I really hope that they don't do is make the mistake of just using things like the Mushroom Kingdom and Bowser's Castle and that's kind of just it. Just like grassy plains and then, you know, dark creepy castles and then that's that's all they do. They need to have a ton of different environments. Like Mario Odyssey has tons of different different types of environments with the crazy food world. There's the the Lost Kingdom, I think it is. No, 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 not the yeah, the Lost Kingdom is really cool, but when I'm thinking of the Ruin Kingdom where there's the giant like castle with the bats and things flying around, the giant dragon, there's like the Cloud Kingdom, there's the Seaside Kingdom. There's a lot of different places and varied things that like visually in that game. There's Mario Galaxy had a lot of different things. Mario City 4 had a lot of different places you could go that were different and interesting and varied. So I think Mario has a history of not just being like the Ice World, the Grass World, the Bowser's Castle, the Mushroom Kingdom, like boring stuff. I hope they just don't go for something that's very generalized, very just kind of like bleh, just kind of like meh, just kind of like normal worlds. They need to do something like they've been doing in like Mario Odyssey, as I said, with these crazy different visual things. So I hope there's many different varied environments. Number two, interesting characters and not just toads. Something that has been a bit of a problem with the Mario series as of late is them only really using toads for characters. Anytime there's a Mario game with any essence of a story, there seems to be just toads everywhere. Now I think they did a really good job with Mario Odyssey, putting a lot of different characters in there. Um, and I hope that's something that they do with this movie as well. Because there's tons of different characters in the Mario series. There's Piantas, and there's Punies, and there's different, like, new characters. Like, you can make, even make, like, brand new characters, like Rock Hawk and different things like that. Like that, we're in the Paper Mario series. Paper Mario is a good one. They have a lot of, like, brand new characters that, like, aren't like any of the other ones. They're not just reskins with names. They're just, like, brand new things, brand new species, and just... They did a really good job personalizing, and I don't think there shouldn't be toads, but I don't want like 20 trillion red toads just being like, I'm, you know, the main characters now, we're, we're the supporting cast, we're gonna make things interesting, because they don't make anything interesting, they're just boring characters, they, like, at least you're gonna put toads, put them like, cool toads, like we saw in Paper Mario, there were some toads that had like, actual like, costumes and personalities and stuff like that, so... We need a whole big cast of interesting Mario characters, just, not just the Toads. And that brings me to number three. And that is, we need supporting main characters like Pauline and Luigi. So, another thing I don't want is for Mario to just be walking around and, you know, fighting enemies, but there's no... He, he needs, like, sidekicks. He needs people surrounding him. He needs, he needs people like Pauline and Luigi and Rosalina. And maybe even, like, a dedicated, like partner character for him like Starlo or something like that uh something that another thing they've been kind of doing in the games lately has just been like yep it's just mario it's only him it's no other characters you don't get to play as anybody else and that's something they don't they don't need to do anymore like the games used to have such cool supporting cast and i'm gonna go back to paper mario because paper mario is just great about this they have so many different supporting characters that helped mario along the way mario needs to meet up with some cool interesting characters and they need to help him out and not just toads and not just mario we need a bunch of different cool supporting characters 
But it's not just the good guys that need to be interesting, it's also the bad guys who need to be interesting. So that leads to number four. We need interesting enemies and an interesting villain. I don't just want the normal Koopas and Goombas to be fighting. We need a whole big long range of enemies for Mario to be encountering. There's tons and tons of enemies. Again, look at things like Mario Odyssey. Look at things like Paper Mario. Tons of crazy unique enemies for Mario to be running into. I don't want him just going against fields of Goombas and Koopas. Like, it's not just it's not what I want. It wouldn't be very interesting. Not only are there interesting enemies, but an interesting main villain. There's a lot of interesting villains in the Mario universe. Look at just Mario and Luigi. Look at Paper Mario again. Just going back to Paper Mario. They just they just did so many things right with the first two Paper Marios. There's and and some of the other ones for their characters too, like Count Black, such a cool character. Fawful was a cool bad guy. There's a lot of characters and bad guys that were really interesting that they could kind of you know take inspiration from and I don't think they should bring back maybe an older villain I don't even know maybe the main villain could be Bowser but at least if it is Bowser make him interesting like he is in the Paper Mario and Mario Luigi games where he's constantly spouting jokes and just being an all-around interesting character and not just like yup I'm big bad turtle dude who took Peach good luck like no he's, he's like such a witty guy like in the in the Paper Mario series, except for Sticker Star, when they decided to absolutely kill all personality, which is like what I hope this movie is not gonna turn into. This better not be the Sticker Star of Mario movies, because oh my gosh, that'd be dumb. And I kind of hinted at the fact that maybe Bowser wouldn't be the main villain, and that's because that leads into number five, and that's I want a more complex story than just Bowser stealing Peach. Mario stories have potential. Do I think it needs to be some kind of crazy, wacky, mind-blowing story? No. I just don't want it to be, oh, Bowser came, he stole Princess Peach, he's hidden up in his uh, Bowser castle, and you just gotta go rescue her. Like, no. Like, it's, it's just not a fun thing to do. And it's not necessarily that I don't think Bowser should kidnap Peach I just think other things should happen like Mario Odyssey made Bowser kidnapping Peach interesting again we had to like actually chase him and things would happen and there was like the whole wedding thing which was really weird they can make that interesting will they do that again I don't know if they really should I feel like that's about as interesting as you can get it and I don't know if it's interesting enough for a movie and I'm gonna go back to it again Mario and Luigi and Paper Mario they had good stories Count Black, oh my gosh, such a good character. Super Paper Mario, super underrated. I don't know why people don't like that game. I understand the gameplay is a lot different than the other Paper Marios, but it's not bad. It's good, and the story is actually really good. So, yeah, they need to take inspiration for that and make an actual interesting story, and not just Bowser rampaging again. Again. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much I just don't want this to be, like, as I said, the sticker star of... Uh, Mount Mario movies. I want them to be more interesting, more outgoing, like they have in a lot of different Mario games, but then again, this is Miyamoto looking over it, so hopefully he doesn't ruin anything. I understand Miyamoto's awesome. I love the guy, but lately he's been doing some weird decisions with Mario and Star Fox and everything, and just I hope he understands that that's not what people want. We don't want basic plain stuff. We want like really interesting wacky stuff to happen. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. Mainly, I just want something, like, really wacky, really cool, really interesting. Mix it up. Shake things up here, Nintendo. Don't give us the same stuff we've always had. But, guys, if you like this video, please share it with anybody you know who likes Mario and Nintendo themed content and let me know down in the comments below as I said what you want to see out of Mario and what you thought of my different points in this video and I'll see all you guys later on What About Nintendo. Bye!